What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're a family member here, if this is your first time stopping by, I am Wilma Kaysen. I do videos on luxury, fashion, lifestyle, and travel. Welcome aboard. I would love to have you join our family here. You can do so by clicking that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every single time your boy loads a new video. It may not be consistent, but you'll know when I load a new video. <laughs> so in today's video, you guys, I am going to be sharing with you my birthday haul. My birthday was September 19th. I turned 41 years old. And you guys, I said I was not going to go crazy this year. Like, I knew that I wasn't going to Greece. If you guys did not see my last video where I gave you a little life update, check it out above. Once I knew that I wasn't going to Greece, I said to myself, we're not going to go crazy. We're not going to go crazy on the birthday this year. What happens when you pick up things here and there, you go crazy. I was on the phone with Joey, my partner, one day, and I said, you know, I really didn't do bad this year. I didn't spend a lot of money on my birthday. And then... I didn't want to tell him some of the prices of some of the things, but then like we kind of went through it and I was like, how the heck did I almost spend $8,000 on my birthday? Like I get it that I canceled the trip, but it just didn't feel like, do you know what I'm saying? And because I purchased things over like a two week period, I was just like, how did I spend $8,000 almost? Way more than I wanted to spend, but I got some amazing pieces that I absolutely love and had been eyeing. So without further ado guys, let's hop in. Let's just get this bad boy out of the way. <laughs> I will tell you guys how this came to be. In my last video, I shared with you guys that I went to Woodbury Commons the day of my friend's baby shower, and I'll tell you how that happened. The week of our, before our anniversary, Joey was looking for something to wear, and I sent him to Woodbury Commons. You know, he had never been before. I said, go, take the day, find something, whatever. He FaceTimed me at one point, and I said, oh my God, you know, I'm a Burberry guy. I said, so can you run into Burberry and just see what they have? And as he was panning, there was this olive green coat. And I knew it was cashmere, if not full cashmere. I could tell just the way the light was hitting it. I was like, turn around and go back. And he went to the coat and he tried it on and the size wasn't right. But obviously it's final sale. So it's not like he could buy it and I could return it. So I said, you know what? Take a picture. Give me the skew, everything. I want to know everything. I'm going to go up there and try it on for myself. And so when that day came, September, the week, it was actually right after my birthday. This was actually the last gift I got for myself for my birthday. But this, the, the week after was the only time I was able to go get it. So I drove up there. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. If you see, if you watch my Insta stories, um, you probably saw me when I went there. So you guys, this is the coat. This is the Kensington mid trench coat. It's a cashmere blend. O M. G. I will insert a clip of me trying this on in store. You guys, obsessed, totally obsessed. And this coat was a lot cheaper than I thought. I forget what the original price was, but it was on sale at the outlet. It was originally almost two thousand dollars, eighteen ninety, and I got it for one thousand fifty. So that's a pretty pretty nice discount on it. I love it so much. I love that underneath the collar. It's not the typical Burberry check. It's just the green and the black and the white. <sighs> I cannot wait to rock this this winter. You guys, I'm so obsessed with this. This coat is everything, okay? Absolutely in love. So let's shift gears a little bit. <laughs> this came from Saks Fifth Avenue. So let me just tell you guys. I went on SaksFifthAvenue.com one day and I picked up the next few items. I don't know what was wrong with me. They're items that I have been looking at for a really, really long time. And I said, let's just pull the trigger and go for it. It's my birthday and this is how the stuff added up, right? So the first item came in this box. I purchased everything in one order, but they all came from different places. I think this one came from Bala, Pro Bala Plaza, a Saks Fifth Avenue in Pennsylvania. Maybe like King of Prussia area or something like that. But the item is... And it came in the it came in the sack without any tissue, but it just fell out. And I picked up the Burberry swim trunks, you guys. I have been eyeing these for so long. I did not want to get the classic check, but 
they just kind of called my name. I really wanted the navy color, but this is, these are the ones I got. I, they're very comfortable. I picked them up, I think in a large, yes, I got these in a size large. You know, your boy has a big bootay. Um, but it still kind of bubbles a little bit on the pockets. I don't know. These are not made for curvy people. But, um, you know, I lost weight and I put a lot of it back on, so I plan on losing weight again. And once I do, these will fit perfectly. But they're really, really comfortable. They do have this back zip pocket here. And it kind of goes halfway down in the back there. That's the pocket drawstring in the front, and it does have these two little metal tabs here that say, they should say Burberry. Yes, they say Burberry on it. And they're just really, really cute shirts. Like I said, something that I've been looking at for so long, not necessarily on my wish list, but things that I just kept looking at and didn't need, but I was like, you know what? What the hell? Just throw it in the bag. So the next items from that sex order came in this box. And I just love when you get the white box. You can tell what came from like the warehouse versus what came from a store. And this definitely came from the warehouse. And you guys, there are so many goodies in here. I can't wait. So we have one, two, three. And the first one here, this is the Mega Check scarf in indigo and camel. I have been looking at this for so long. Last year, I picked up that hooded trench from Burberry, the outlets when it was still open in New Jersey. Um, I picked that up and it's navy. And I wanted something to, to go with it. This is so beautiful, I can't even deal. I love, love, love it. Underneath here is where it says Burberry. I kind of miss the old school tags. These new very basic white tags. They kind of send me, but whatever. So that is the tag there. This is the scarf, and this came in at 620 US dollars. Expensive, but worth it. It's large. I love the colors. It's very, it's not understated Burberry, but it kind of is at the same time. It's like, I hate to say this, but it's like, if you know, you know. But um, yeah, so that is the first item in this package. The second item came in this plastic. And the last one was the Mega Check. And this is the Giant Check, and it's in the Birch. Sometimes I don't like how, like, noticeable the regular Burberry check is. Sometimes it's too yellow. Sometimes it's just not right. All these different renditions of the check is not right. But when I saw the birch, I was like, this is an entire vibe, you guys. Like, this scarf, this scarf is stunning. Like, it's not as large as the other one, but I love the color. It's obviously cashmere. It just feels so good, and the color is so perfect for me. I just am obsessed. And this one came in at 520 US dollars. It's not everything. <sighs> I had a Burberry scarf back in the day. The original, not the original, because that was probably like in the 1800s, I don't know. But not the original, but I had back in the day, like, you know, when it was really, really popping in like the early 2000s, I had a Burberry scarf, the light, regular, classic check, and I returned it because I just, I don't know, I was seeing everyone with it. I have to say, I don't see many people with this color or the navy, so that makes me really happy. Uh, but yeah, so that is the next item that I picked up. I just, I love this birch color so much that I picked up the Gabriel Icon Strike gloves. These are amazing. I picked them up in a size eight, and I remember when I got them, they only had a size eight left, and I was like, dear God, please. I mean, just, how, can we look at that? Stunning. Stunning. Um, I never picked up gloves outside of like from Kohan or Coach and they come in small, medium, large. So when they asked me like the number size, I was like, I, I don't know. So I took a shot in the dark. I, I think I may have used like their little um, sizing tool on sex, sex.com, but um, I got them and they work perfectly. This is what they look like on the other side. I'm not sure if you can use them to text or anything like that, but that's what it looks like. And these are a wool cashmere blend. I believe that the the inside is full cashmere. I will leave the information below on the screen. But these are my Gabriel Icon gloves. You guys, I have been looking at these for so long. They came out, I'm not sure if they were the Gabriel ones, but they came out with these years ago in black, gray, and white. And you know that's my jam, that's my color scheme. I did not get them, but I should have. So when I saw these, I was like, you have to get them. 
and these came in at 530 US dollars. So last in that Saks order is this item. It came in a Saks box and I just love their packaging, you guys. It's so amazing. And this is the item. If you guys can't tell, I'm obsessing over the Hermes tableware. It is just, it's giving me life lately. So this item is the H Deco coffee mug. It's just the mug, the H Deco mug. And this is the white version, okay? It's, as the kids say now, it's giving. It is giving, it's so cute. I want the black one as well. I know in the store they sell them as a set and don't let people tell you that you have to buy them as a set because you don't have to buy them as a set. I got set up, I'll show you something else that I purchased, but I got set up and you don't have to buy them as a set because they're sold separately. They just want you to buy them as a set. But this came in at $130 on Saks.com and I saw the black one a couple weeks ago and I said, a couple weeks before I got this one, I said I was gonna lead it out and see if the white one came in stock and of course the white one came in stock but the black one went out. So I just snagged this anyway and hopefully I check the website every day, you know I'm crazy. So the black one has not come back in stock but for now I do have this one. These two items here came from an Hermes boutique and I believe Seattle, Washington, outside of Seattle, Washington. I will leave the information below. I will tell you how I got these and how the amazing client advisor helped me. It was He was so awesome. So it is the Mosaic Soy Dishes. They come, this one did come in too. And the salesperson told me that they were sold in two, but someone else told me that you can buy them separately. However, and if you guys remember when I did that Saks uh, pre-order two years ago, these were in that pre-order, but they never came. They canceled my order. I didn't realize how tiny they were. They like literally fit in the palm of your hands. But um, I do love these so, so, so much. I think that they're like five or five and a half inches in diameter. Super cute. I love that they're trimmed in the platinum around the edge here. And these are 120, I believe, a piece. So I'll tell you how these came to be. I Google image search soy dish, right? Platinum mosaic soy dish. And I said to myself, I was looking at the pictures and I saw that one of the hyperlinks was for Hermes.com. And I'm like, but if you go to the Hermes website and type it in, it says, oops, this page is not found. But the Back door approach is to a Google image search if whatever you're searching on the Hermes website or maybe any website shows up there and it takes you to a link to the page, it may be out of stock, but you can click the find in store. And I did that for these. I clicked find in store. It came up the one store left in the country. I contacted the store. They called me back immediately. I got Ramel, who is now my new client advisor, who I think I've texted like every week since I purchased these. We text like every week amazing client advisor. He packaged these up, sent them to me, and I got them in no time. I love these so much. Again, if you follow me on Instagram, I did do a reel on this, so you definitely would have seen these. Um, but such cute bedside trays or trinket trays to have around the house. And you guys know that I'm moving, so I'm definitely gonna be utilizing this in my new place. So that same day when I Google image search for the soy dishes, I happen to be on the Hermes tableware section and this beauty popped up. It is the mosaic in the gold. This is, I for, it's just called like a small dish, round dish, small dish, small-ish, I don't know. Um, what I love about some of these pieces in the mosaic collection is, is that it has little flecks of gold or if you have the platinum, it has a flex of platinum. Like the soy dishes have the platinum trimmed around the edge. This has little pieces of gold like infused in the tile, like the mosaic. It is just a beautiful piece. Again, I did a reel on it. I will insert the reel of me unboxing this that I put on my Instagram page. I'm obsessed with this. This was, I believe, 290 US dollars. And literally, I grabbed it. It was the last one on the website. And I was like, thank God. I really want one of these in silver and the platinum. But um, I snagged this in the gold because it's really cute. And I think, well, you'll see in my reel that I posted. Like, I, it definitely goes with the vibe in my room, which is going to be our room, Joey and I, when we move. So, yeah, um, I love this piece so, 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 so much. And last but not least, you guys. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I was supposed to be saving for the watch trunk, okay? 
but this beauty popped up on Fashion File, and I'm going to tell you why I snagged it. There were two of these on Fashion Files website, and I love Fashion Files. I'm not shading them, but this one was, I think, $35.53 or something like that, when the original MSRP at the time was $5,300. Now, I knew that they were on the brink of a price increase, but that made sense, right? $3,500 when it was $53, right? And, I mean, look at the condition. It is an impeccable, impeccable condition. So, I'll even show you. This is the little tray that comes with it, the Vachetta tag with the sticker and everything, control card came with it, the dust bag came with it, the inside is pristine. So it made sense for me to purchase this one for $3,500. Well, there was also one on the website that was $7,500. And I kept saying to myself, am I missing something here? And the only difference is mine is in impeccable condition. There's no, no issues with it, no scratches, no, it's perfect. Like I would, thought it was brand new. That one just had the blue stickers on the on the brass hardware, and you just had to peel it off. That is not worth an extra two thousand dollars. No, that's not worth an extra four thousand dollars from what I paid for this one. And not to mention that the that the item is fifty three hundred dollars brand new in store, and you can buy it on the website. And they had it on sale for seventy. Listen, I checked this week at some point to see what the price was. They dropped it down, like they marked it down, I think twice since they initially posted it. Thank God nobody was stupid enough to purchase it. But you guys are doing your homework. I'm proud of you. <laughs> but it's only down to $6,000, which is still more than what it is in store. Anyway, um, I went on a whole rent and never introduced you guys to the piece. This is the Louis Vuitton Coiffette Trezor 24. There is a size 20, which is a little smaller, so it's 24. 24 centimeters, I believe. That's the size of it. Um, it does have the S-Lock here, brass hardware. It's impeccable. The Vachetta leather here is in good condition. I never knew why they put the Vachetta leather on the tabs here. I never understood that. But there is the top of the piece. There is the bottom. And this is a piece. I know that the watch box is probably looking at me like, seriously, we were supposed to be working things out. You were supposed to be coming for me. And this, this just, it was right. It made sense. And this is the piece that made my birthday haul jump into the 7,000 range, almost 8,000 range. Because again, I did not, I was just like picking up little trinkets that were like 200, 300, you know, 1,000. And then boom, like this thing was available. And I'm so, so thankful that I found it. <sighs> Joey's going to kill me, but I still, we're supposed to be buying a house after we finish our lease in this apartment. But I need to get the watch box. I need to get that watch box, you guys. have no idea. It will complete my trunk collection. I won't ask for another trunk. I won't think of another trunk. I need, I need the watch box. <laughs> At any rate, you guys, that is everything for my birthday haul. Let me know what you guys think of the items that I purchased. And, my God, I'm, I'm just so in love. I'm so in love with this piece. I still have the freaking fashion file thing on it. Um, but anyway... That is all, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.